Nothing in this podcast or on our website should be construed as medical advice. Consult your healthcare provider for your individual nutritional and medical needs. The information presented is based on our research and is strictly that of the author and not necessarily those of any professional group or other individual. Hi, I'm Sue Becker from Bread Beckers. Welcome to Sue's Healthy Minutes. I'm so excited you've joined me today, and I hope this episode encourages you and allows you to find the answers you have been praying for, for the health of you and your family. Today on Sue's Healthy Minutes, I want to replay and it's the bread story for you. Last week, I received an email from someone asking about a particular testimony shared more than six months ago on Sue's Healthy Minutes. She wanted to share the episode with someone else. Honestly, it took me a minute to remember and find that particular episode, which made me begin to think There have been so many great stories shared that it's easy to forget some of them. Or you might remember having heard it, but now want to share it with someone that needs to hear it. Or maybe you're in a different place today than when you first heard that particular episode, and it might just be exactly what you need to hear today. So I decided that this week and perhaps every month or so, it would be good to replay some of these amazing It's the Bread stories. I know I never get tired of hearing them, and it is always inspiring and encouraging to hear again how the bread has worked in people's lives. The email inquiry was episode 71 with Edna Summers. It's an amazing story. As we replay it today, and you hear it perhaps for the first or maybe the second time, may God use her story to encourage you and fill you with hope. Today on Sue's Healthy Minutes, I have the pleasure of sharing with you yet another It's the Bread story. I certainly never get tired of hearing them and then sharing them with you. My guest today is Edna Summers. Edna actually reached out to us at Bread Beckers saying that she wanted to be a guest on my podcast. I reached back out to Edna and what little she told me in our short conversation, I knew was worth sharing with you today on Sue's Healthy Minutes. Hers is definitely a unique story, one that I had never heard before. So, Edna, welcome to Sue's Healthy Minutes. It's a pleasure to have you on today. Would you start by telling us just a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and then a little background about the health issues you were experiencing? Sure. I'm uh, from Denison, Texas. That's up by the Red River, which is a hop, skip, and a jump from Oklahoma. Ah, so um, we've been here in this place uh, seven years, and I was experiencing some GI problems, some GERD, some uh, night hives, uh, in that about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, I would wake up just covered in huge hives, some of them as big as my hand. And uh, I would go to the doctor, and the doctor said, well, I don't know what they look like and I said well I can't come at two o'clock in the morning (laughs) yeah (laughs) right he said thank you (laughs) so my daughter said mom use your phone and take a picture at two o'clock in the morning well duh (laughs) yeah these young kids are so brilliant aren't they (laughs) they are so I took a picture and I took it into my doctor and he said oh my I said, yeah, oh, my, try to live in it. <laughs> and yeah, and they were only happening at night? Only at night, about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, I would wake up just covered in them and itching to be on measure. Oh, my goodness. I have never had anything like that, and I've been covered in poison ivy and poison sumac and all that. So, anyway, this was much, much worse because of how big they were. So the doctor put me on two or three different things trying to get answers and nothing worked. And then one day I went in and I said, we got to do something because I was just worn out, not sleeping. And um, 
he said, okay, let's try Allegra. So he put me on Allegra. Well, poof, it stopped it. Wow. I didn't want to stay on medicine all my life. So I told him, I said, I don't want to be on this medicine the rest of my life. And he said, well, if you don't want the hives, you have no choice. And I said, I think I do. And he said, okay, have at it. (laughs) I went home and I started researching night hives. I started researching what in the world can be done. And in the process, I ran across Sue Becker's videos and I watched probably eight or ten of them and finally the thought hit me you know what have I got to lose let's try the whole wheat and see if I can if this can be helped thinking that God has an answer he provided I mean he he created us and he created us and made us wonderfully and fearfully made so yes there's got to be a reason. There's something that I'm not getting in my system that's doing this. Yeah. So I uh, I told my husband and I showed him, made him sit and watch one of your videos. And he said, well, we don't have anything to lose. Where do we get it? <laughs> I said, I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. Yeah. Said, well, <laughs> I love it. it. <laughs> yeah. So I started searching mills and, um, I came down to two mills. One was a mock mill. The other was a wonder mill. I was trying to decide between the two. And he said, well, you know, when we buy bread, we buy stone ground. So why don't we just get the stone ground mill? I said, okay. So we found a a person that wanted to sell their mill of all crazy ideas. (laughs) If they wanted to sell their mill, they'd used it five times. And she said they just weren't happy with the grind of the wheat well i ordered the mill got it turned it on put the wheat in it and it was really coarse and i thought well you gotta adjust it so i adjusted it got what got flour we started hunt well we before that we had started hunting for where to get wheat because if we ordered it from bread beckers that was going to eat us up in shipping yes yes that's why we have the co-ops yep it gets you bad yeah yeah so I decided to start looking around. Old oh, one of our local grocery stores sold hard red wheat and emmer wheat. Okay, so I go down and I get the hard red and I get the emmer because I don't have a clue what's different. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So I bring them home and I I mill some of the hard red and I mill some of the emmer and I put the two together. I didn't know what I was doing. I love it, though. You didn't. I just love it. Jump in there with both feet. (laughs) I did. So I made the first loaf according to your recipe. And believe it or not, it turned out. (laughs) I know. That's great. I made bread before with dead flour. And all it did was make us fat. So we quit doing that years ago. And I'm not a bread eater, have never been a bread eater. But at this point, I had to try something. So I ate the first two slices of bread, and hey, that's pretty doggone good. (laughs) (laughs) If I do say so myself. (laughs) Exactly. So I ate the whole loaf, and and that took me about uh, almost a week. And in the second, I made the second loaf and my husband said, you're eating that awfully well. Let me try some. And I said, well, I wasn't stopping you on the first loaf. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> ate some and he said, man, that's good stuff. So uh, we both were eating it and I ate it for three weeks and I got brave. Decided, OK, I'm not going to take the Allegra tonight and see what happens. So I didn't take the Allegra. Well, I didn't wake up in the middle of the night. So I thought, well, it's, wow. built, it's built up in my system. Yeah, that's so, a logical thought. Yep. I thought, well, I'm going to try it one more night and see what happens. So the next night, nothing happened. I thought, whoa, I think I'm on to something here. So I uh, kept eating the bread, not had another night of hives. And as a side effect, I wasn't gaining any weight. 
Well, that's a good side effect. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. I said, I can deal with this. And then I uh, decided, well, you know, what if I don't eat the bread? Is that going to make the hives come back? So I for, I for, actually, I forgot to eat bread one day because, like I said, I'm not a bread eater. Yeah. So I forgot to eat the bread in the two nights, and I started feeling it th at 3 o'clock in the morning. I was up eating bread. <laughs> wow. And it's actually stopped it in the process. I could feel it coming on, and it stopped eating that slice of bread at three o'clock in the morning i mean that looks real cute but hey <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do hey and a, a nice piece of bread is is not a bad pill to swallow is it <laughs> no it's not so and normally if i ate something and laid down i would have GERD problem yeah. and heartburn and the whole nine yards i laid down and went back to sleep and nothing Wow. So it's it's helped your, your reflux as well and your heartburn. I have not had heartburn or reflux since I started the bread trail. Wow. Now, you said it it took about three weeks before you got the nerve to quit taking your Allegra. How how long have you been making the bread now and eating it I've regularly? I've been bread now th uh, almost three years. Okay. So and it, no problem since, huh? Not a problem one. Uh, my husband has now uh, his bowels are as like clockwork, and so are mine. But that's just side effects that I can handle. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the kind of side effects you want, aren't they? You got it. So yeah, and then yeah. I go back to my doctor. And uh, I come in, and he said, so how's the Allegra doing? I said, I don't know. I ain't been taking it. <gasps> Uh-oh. <laughs> he said, how long have you not been taking it? I said, about mm, four months. He said, and you've not had any kind of side effects? Any anything come back? And I said, no. He said, well, I think we cured the problem. I said, no, we didn't. God did. Oh, my goodness gracious. And he said, what do you mean? And I handed him a loaf of bread. And I said, this has stopped it. Now you tell me what's in it. He said, uh, this is homemade bread. What did you put in it? And I said, well, I ground my wheat. And he said, that's what it is. I said, what do you mean? He said, everything that God put in wheat for us to eat is still in there and there's something some nutrition that they have taken out in flour that has healed you of this problem he said but i wouldn't quit eating the bread <laughs> <laughs> i like this doctor <laughs> we really like him he's down to earth he's a christian man and he believes yeah. in the power of prayer but anyway, um, I gave him the loaf of bread, and then the next time I went in, I took another loaf of bread, and he said, I want you to know that's the best bread I ever ate in my life. Isn't that amazing? I, I, I love what God gives us. <laughs> yeah. I, I said, I've got the recipe. He said, I just love the way you make it. <laughs> so I handed him the loaf of bread, and he said, I want to tell you something. He said, my kids, and then they range in age of two to 12 I think and he said they can tell the difference between your bread and store-bought bread and I said and he said and they much prefer yours he said they'll oh, I love it when they see me coming in the door with it oh I love it I love it and that's so, what I, I mean that's what I love so much about the bread is it's healthy food everybody loves it it's not yeah. a hard pill to swallow so, and you don't have to beg kids to eat it exactly that's what I loved about it because I started doing this when my kids were young and you know, I did all kinds of things, green drinks and, you know, supplements and stuff like that. But you can't get kids to do that. But that I didn't even have to beg them or ask them to eat the bread. They asked to eat the bread. They yeah. asked me to eat the bread. So Exactly. 
Oh, that's amazing. I told the doctor I had a spider bite and I had to go in in an emergency situation. So I went and and I said, I'm sorry, I didn't have time to make bread before I came. And he said, you don't have to bring me bread every time you come in. I said, but I want to. He said, thank you. (laughs) (laughs) So anyway, um, I think I could probably pay my doctor bill with my bread. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe so. That might be a good, good exchange. Yes. Uh, So, so you've been doing this for three years now and you've already mentioned several side effects. You mentioned that you had bowel issues. What type of bowel issues did you have? If you don't mind being so personal. (laughs) Oh, I don't mind at all. They just were sporadic and Uh, you never knew. Yeah. Or what was going to (laughs) come. Yeah. Okay. And you're, and you're, yeah. And your husband as well. So y'all have seen, um, complete resolution of that, right? Complete. But the the GERD is gone. I've not had any kind of heartburn at all. And the only thing we've changed is the bread. I love it. That's what I hear everyone say. You said two things today that er, just about everyone I interview, they'll they'll or even come across in just day to day life and 31 years in business. When they hear about the bread, a lot of times they go, what have we got to lose? <laughs> One yeah. lady said, I ha- I like to cook and we have to eat. What have we got to lose? And um, right. yeah, and, and then, of course, all we've changed is the bread and we've seen these benefits. So, you know, I, I'm going to have to do you've inspired me to do some more research to see what it is in the bread that could cause could bring about such remarkable um, changes in these night hives. Um, well, I did a, I did a little bit of research since talking with you yesterday, um, just to see what causes it and stuff. But basically, they don't know. Um, they don't know really. But I've had some pretty remarkable um, testimonies. Uh, one young man in particular came all the way from I think Kansas or no, it was Missouri to come to our store. Just to tell me that he was so despairing, even of life, because he had these stinging hives on his skin. And within just a couple of months of his, you know, of making the bread and eating the bread, it all went away. And I mean, that's that's pretty significant that it was so painful. He didn't even want to live anymore. Well, it, it's pretty miserable. Like, yeah. Yeah. I did that for sure. But my doctor told me, he said, the only thing that I know for sure that is in the wheat is the vitamin E. And I said, but I take vitamin E. He said, yeah, but what you're taking is not what God made. Right. It's not the same. And that's what I was going to say. I, I I could do a podcast every week on vitamin E on a different subject of all the things that it helps. It's just such an amazing nutrient and it's it's there in the bread um that's that's just so amazing well do you have anything else or any final words of encouragement that you would like to share with those listening today before we close out well all i know is that this stuff is amazing i would pay money for this stuff and i am but not to the extent that it would cost if I were, if they had some kind of medication, which I absolutely despise medication. Yeah. It's needed sometimes. I get that. But I'm 75, almost 76, and I take nothing. Absolutely That's- nothing. I, except for, I do have glaucoma, so I have to put drops in my eyes, but that's it. And I have nothing else. I don't have high blood pressure And I am a little overweight, not bad. I weigh 151 and I'm 5'1". But so I'm not overweight a lot. In fact, when I tell my doctor I'm overweight, he says, no, you're not. (laughs) Anyway, my sister, who is a retired nurse, said, well, what you need to do is have a little bit of padding in case you fall. So (laughs) (laughs) there you go. I'll take that, too. (laughs) So other than that, you know, I. There's no health problems, and my husband has is had a dramatic. He would well. He I did notice this with him, and I don't know if I can justify this or what. But when he would eat the bread, he would most of the time he would toast it, and I told him I said stop toasting it. 
and see if that makes a difference. Because he wasn't seeing the same results I was. Mm -hmm. So he stopped toasting it. And he started seeing the results I did. Huh. That's interesting. Sorry. And I don't know if it's if it's because when you toast it, you dry it out. Or if you kill something in it. I have no idea. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. A, yeah, I wouldn't think it. so. But I, I definitely am going to have to look into that. Because I actually just had a, a someone email a question about that. Did toasting it. And I'm like, I hope not. Because I toast mine. <laughs> you know, not, <laughs> not all of it. You know, some yeah. I eat um, plain. But, you know, in the mornings particularly, I tend to toast it with some butter. But um, I, you've got me curious about that. Or maybe maybe it is like it just dries it out. And so then that increases um, your need for water. Oh. You know, to... to I, oh, he... He asked me, he did ask me early on in when I was making other things with flour. He said, does this count as a slice of bread? <laughs> yes, it does. It, and, you know, I, said, well, I would think so because it's got the flour in it. <laughs> exactly. And that's what I tell people when I say bread, that doesn't necessarily mean a slice of bread. It, it can mean a muffin, a pancake, a bowl of oatmeal, a pot of rice and black eyed peas or beans. You know, those right. are Anything, yes, or cookies, yes, or brownies <laughs> made with the freshly milled flour. Those are all, you know, grains and beans are seeds that God has given us. And just about every nutrient we need for life and to support health is in there. And um, it just saddens me that the food industry has denatured particularly um, wheat um, and so much. Yeah. Fill out of bread. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bread's and, not filling. No, not at all. And I and I love that you said one of the side effects is I didn't gain weight because that's what it's people say all the time. Oh, if I ate this bread, I would be overweight. And I'm like, and, you know, I'd be as big as a house. I'm like, no, no problem. The you know, the reason America has such an obesity problem is the bread products that are in the store don't fill us up and don't satisfy us because the fiber and the nutrients have been removed by taking away the bran and germ. So well, I love when I was little we in school we made paste with white bread. Yeah. As a science experiment experiment. Okay, if you can make paste with it, what's it do to your body? Yes. Adds on pounds. Yeah. But unfortunately people think then they know that you can do that and they say, Oh, bread's nothing but glue the white bread in the store that has all the fiber and the nutrients taken out. Yes. But that saddens me that there's not a differentiation between wheat, real wheat, like you and I are using and the bread that's in the store, the bread that's in the store came from wheat, but that is not wheat, you know, no, not at all. Not at all. So. No. And I have people around me that I have given bread to, and they will say, that is the best stuff I've ever had. I said, it's not me making it. It's what God made to, that I put in it. Yes, I love that. I love that. Well, and I just, I just thank you so much for taking the time out of your morning to share your story with us today. You know, the more I study the nutritional needs of our body and the way our bodies are made, I stand in awe of God who has given us such a delicious and nutritious food in the form of whole grains and real bread for us to eat and enjoy. And, I'm and it's so, fun making it. It is. It's so satisfying. It but, really is. And, you know, we drove, my, my husband asked me this year, he said, where do you want to go on vacation? I said, I don't care. So he contemplated different places and then he come back and he said you know he said do you have any ideas of where you want to go and I said well I'd like to go to Breadbacker's <gasps> and he said where's that <laughs> <laughs> I said you know the video that you watched on bread he said yeah I said that's where I want to go he said okay that's where we're going and I said, well, now we don't have to. We can go wherever you wanted to go. He said, no, we've been going where I wanted to go. It's time we go where you want to go. I said, okay. So we called our son who lives in Florida. And he said, well, mom, I'll meet you in Atlanta. And we spend two or three days there seeing the sights of Atlanta. And he said, so we can make it a vacation. I said, okay. 
So that's what we did. <laughs> oh, that is so wonderful. That is so wonderful. I'm so glad you got to come. And, and uh, I'm just so very grateful, like I said, for you taking time to share your story today. And and I'm so grateful for God's perfect provision. I just... I absolutely had to come and tell you thank you for what you did in informing us of what was a possibility. Yeah. And that possibility worked. That's amazing. That Praise impressed me. You know, God made the stuff and it's up to us to eat it. Amen. There you it's go. It is our choice, isn't it? Well, thank you, Edna, and thank you all for listening today to Sue's Healthy Minutes. I hope you continue to be inspired and find health through real bread. Until next time, this is Sue Becker from Bread Beckers with Sue's Healthy Minutes. Sue's Healthy Minutes podcast has been a presentation by the Bread Beckers Incorporated located in Woodstock, Georgia. For more information, store hours, and learning opportunities, visit breadbeckers.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast and never miss an episode. Share this with two friends who would benefit from this information and be sure to join us again next week for more of Sue's Healthy Minutes.